Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 2nd of exercise 13.1. The question says a vessel is in the form of a hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder. The diameter of the hemisphere is 14 cm and the total height of the vessel is 13 cm. You have to find the inner surface area of the vessel. Now, there is a vessel which, uh, which is formed of a hollow hemisphere. First of all, there is a hollow hemisphere. This is a hemisphere. And this is hollow. Means the inside of this spare, uh, hemisphere is empty. And this is mounted by a hollow cylinder. Mounted by means a cylinder is placed on the top of this hemisphere and the cylinder is also hollow. And this is a hemisphere and the hemisphere is mounted with a cylinder. And again, this is a complete vessel and this is hollow means the inside of this vessel is empty. Now, the diameter of the hemisphere is given to you as 14 centimeter. So, the diameter, if the diameter is 14 centimeter, obviously radius is half of diameter. So, obviously the radius will be 7 centimeter. Obviously, the cylinder is mounted on the hemisphere. So, the radius of the hemisphere and the radius of the cylinder will be same. And that is equal to 7 cm. And the total height of the vessel is 13 cm. So the total height is this. And this complete height is given to you as 13 cm. And if the radius of this uh, hemisphere is 7, this is 7, this is also act as a radius and if this is 7 so obviously the remaining height which is the height of the cylinder will be 13 which is the complete height minus this 7 so the height will be 5 centimeter so the height of this cylinder will be 5 centimeter uh, sorry 6 centimeter which is 13 minus 7 so we know all the measurements here. Now you have to find the inner surface area of this vessel. One thing is important because this is hollow and the thickness of this vessel is negligible. It is not mentioned in this question. So its inner surface area will be same as its outer surface area. So if you want to find the inner surface area, what you need to do is you need to find its outer surface area because the outer surface area will be same as its inner surface area. Now you have to find the outer surface area of this vessel. For that you need to find the area or you can say the surface area which is visible to you. You have to find the area of the surface which is visible to you in this vessel. So obviously this curved surface area will be visible to you of the hemisphere which is like curved and you will be uh, this curved surface area of the cylinder will be visible to you this this area this area of the top of the hemisphere or you can say the area of base of this cylinder will not be visible to you because this is attached to each other so this we have to we don't have to calculate and because this is hollow again we don't have to calculate the area of this top so if you want to find the total surface area of this vessel that will be equal to the curved surface area of hemisphere plus curved surface area of cylinder this will be the surface which is visible to us so we only have to calculate for surface area of this curved surface now it's better to substitute the formula 
for the curved surface area of the hemisphere so the curved surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r square and the curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h because the radius is same for both the figures so the area will uh, the radius will remain same now <coughs> one thing is important instead of solving right here what you can do is you can take 2 pi r common for that you will have to solve 2 pi r only once not two times here also you have you have to solve 2 pi r here also you have to solve 2 pi r if you take 2 pi r common only one time you will have to solve 2 pi r so that will make your calculation shorter so what i am doing is i am taking 2 pi r as common so if from 2 pi r square if 2 pi r is taken out only r will remain inside the bracket if from r square 1 r is taken out only 1 r will remain in the side inside the bracket and from 2 pi r h if 2 pi r is taken out only h will remain inside the bracket now you have can solve in this time 2 pi r will be solved only once now i can substitute the values pi the value of pi is 22 upon 7 the radius here is 7 centimeter again radius is 7 and the height of the cylinder is 6 now this can be cancelled and this will be 22 into 2 is 44 multiplied by 7 plus 6 is 13 so if you can multiply 44 with 13 the total surface area of this vessel will be visible to you now we can multiply 44 by 13 so this is 12 and this will be 44 2 7 5 so the answer will be 5 72 centimeter square because this is curved surface area so the assignment will be in centimeter square uh, and the dimensions are given in the centimeter so this will be centimeter square so this will be the answer for this question this is how you can solve this question i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you